Hey me, welcome, I'm Reza, and today I'll be giving you the rundown on the best of what Bergen, Norway has to offer. Join us as we sail through the fjord, learning about the traditional way of life of the locals and the unique relationship they have with the fjord. Please consider subscribing to my channel where I upload new trip films every week. I can't wait to continue our travels together. On a beautiful weekend morning, I took a Norwegian fjords cruise to experience the early morning views of one of Norway's best-known fjords. As a local and native, I have been on this cruise multiple times, but the experience never gets old. The cruise starts at 6.30 whim to catch the best views of the fjord. A standard half-day cruise typically starts from around $50 per person. It includes a guided tour of the fjord, with commentary about the history and culture of the area, as well as a chance to experience the natural beauty of the fjord. While a full-day cruise usually starts from around $90 per person and includes activities such as hiking and fishing, as well as a chance to explore the local villages and towns. I opted for a standard half-day cruise, which typically costs around $50 per person. It was an excellent value for money. The cruise ship was comfortable, and the staff was friendly and helpful. They provided us with breakfast and hot beverages while we took in the views. As we set sail and glided through the calm waters, I couldn't help but feel a sense of excitement as I watched the sunrise, casting a golden glow over the mountains and water. The scenery was breathtaking, and I couldn't help but marvel at the natural beauty of the fjord. It is important to note that the weather in Norway can be unpredictable, and the best time to take the cruise is during the summer season, which runs from June to September when the weather is warmer and the days are longer. However, it's also good to note that the availability of the cruise varies by season, so it's best to check with the tour operator for the schedule and availability. As we pass by small villages and towns during the Norwegian Fjords cruise, the guide provided insightful commentary about the history and culture of the area. We learned about the traditional way of life of the locals and their deep-rooted connection with the fjord. The guide shared stories of how the fjord has played a significant role in the lives of the people there, from providing a livelihood through fishing and farming to being a source of inspiration for their art and culture. We learned about the different fishing methods used by the locals, such as drift netting, long lining, and gill netting. We also learned about the traditional boathouses that dot the shoreline, which has been used for centuries to store and repair boats. Finally, as we reached the end of the fjord, we had an opportunity to see the famous waterfall, the Seven Sisters. It was around 9 whim when we got to the waterfall, and it was a sight to behold. The cruise lasted for around three hours, and it was a truly unforgettable experience. If you ever have the chance to visit Norway, I highly recommend taking a Norwegian Fjords cruise. It's a must-see attraction. We reached back to the city around 9.30 am. It's always a good idea to dress in layers, as the weather can be cool and windy, even on sunny days. Make sure to bring a camera and binoculars to capture the. Don't miss out on my next videos where I cover everything there is to know about Bergen. Get the best bang for your buck with my recommendations for good, affordable hotels in Bergen. Check out the full list in the description below. Get the best bang for your buck with my recommendations for good, affordable hotels in Bergen. Check out the full list in the description below.